Hello everybody, I'm just out here taking a walk, since I have a uh, means of getting back from the moon to the earth, and I believe this will work. Seems as the earth orbits the sun, and the moon orbits the earth, there is a constant light being shined at the earth and the moon. See, depending on the time of day, obviously that variates. Depend, that variates on your location. So, since the moon orbits the Earth, I can use one of my projects I did initially intend to use to get to Mars. It's all new stuff. It's probably laughable but keep laughing because it's gonna work see since there's always going to be 12 hours shining at one location light shines at one location for 12 hours and vice versa the moon's going to be reflecting light at said location for 12 hours The point is, light is a linear travelling motion, so the, what that basically means is that, excuse me, so what that basically means is you can use the light to obviously travel along it at even faster rates than you could produce on earth obviously i'm just going to go off radioactive isotopes here that is the scientific term how radio radioactive isotopes work they expire in what they call half-lives so basically say whatever number numeric there is say i don't know a thousand photons points at the moon and then it's going say a thousand photons is pointing at the moon and then it's going to reflect 500 photons at the earth i'd say that's my best educated guess anyway i do hope you like the background there's not really a lot i can do about the noise it's everyone's right to travel that's why i'm out here it's my right to travel etc suppose you could say i'm loitering but i'm constantly moving therefore i'm not um, anyway, the point is, light reflects in a linear pattern, so if you can harness that and concentrate it the way you would with a magnifying lens on, say, I don't know, something on the ground that you're trying to light on fire, for example, not that I'm trying to do that, um, I can basically use a magnifying lens like piece of glass on the moon so when the sun reflects the light somehow you can like mirror it obviously I'm going to need a mirror behind the glass so that I can reflect the light through the glass concentrate it to where I need to go and obviously <laughs> there are some nice engines out here nice and loud uh, anyway I can magnetize the light because somehow um, 
what do you call them? Solar panels turn light into energy, so theoretically it's possible. And theoretically, I can magnetize the energy from the photons to use to travel along, basically. All I would need is something to basically surround the entirety of that light in an opposing polarity so it doesn't escape no matter what way it goes it might like rock around and stuff like that but you can travel along it this is the light i'm talking about and go direct to the earth where it's night time this is a smart idea because it's renewable energy unless the sun goes out which you will be millennia away I reckon but I've already got a plan for that so here's one for the future I suppose if you look in my previous videos you'll see what I mean Anyway, I plan to travel along, along this photon light, which is magnetised, and basically I can travel along it all the way back to the Earth. Obviously I'm going to need something to take away the electrical component to it, so it doesn't like mess about with the Earth or anything, but that's just a bit of rubber floating around in space anyway just something to aim off of I've got an idea anyway being if I use a hoop to like surround the entirety of the light and point out a piece of rubber which is floating around the earth that's going to have to be stationary somehow, I'll work that out one day. Um, basically, the hoop can go through it, and obviously it's still being pushed away, so it's going to go towards the earth, and I'm going to seriously going to have to find a way to slow down immediately. Because I don't want to come in that fast, because it's not good for the ozone. Um, see one method of you know uh, distributing energy is to flip that's going to be the risky part so I'm going to be doing backflips into the into the atmosphere basically and then gradually slow myself down and obviously the bottom of my project will be heavier so therefore there's the bottom and I have the old what's up what's down and all the rest uh, if you see the Red Bull jump which happened in 2012 I believe it was uh, that was a world record jumping out of a stratospheric balloon uh, the first name was Felix I can't remember his surname but he's a legend anyway I based some of my research off of his jump that's why I believe he's a legend go on keep doing your uh, It wasn't a... There's two kinds of jumps I believe he described. A, a base jump, I believe, was being where something is connected to the ground and you jump off what is connected to the ground with, obviously, a parachute. Anyway, he did loads of 
360s, I think that should be a world record in itself. I mean, how many 360s can you do in one jump? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so basically that's going to be my way in I'm going to have to obviously wait through the spins and then deploy the sheet because I plan to slow down as much as possible before I reach the ground because I intend to obviously as the comments say invite people to come along because I want to make this a communal thing I believe it should be for everyone as I said it's everyone's right to travel Please do forgive me if I stood around for more than two minutes. I don't intend to trespass. I'm just trying to record some footage. Um, so yeah, that's basically the plan back. <laughs> it's going to be good. And it should be faster than using any means of previously known methods of travel to space. Apollo 11 used fuel. I'm not really up for that. Uh, no, I'm just not up for it. Besides, it's expensive. My method is a bit cheaper. Compared to spending millions, I could be spending thousands, which is a big difference. And besides, with my technology, I can start harvesting asteroids in the asteroid belt and start bringing them into the moon where it's lower gravity, so therefore it's safer to bring it in. Obviously, I'm going to break it up and stuff like that and slow the means of entry, but then. I'll just transport it back. <laughs> More minerals for us, eh? <laughs> um, being as Neil Armstrong has landed on the moon first, I'm going to be paying rent to America when I get things going up there. I do have... Well... High, high goal ambition, shall we say. I know there's a better word, but it's just not coming through my head right now. It is... Oh, it would be an achievement. Especially for someone in my position. I'm on my own, I'm self-employed. And I'm British, I'm on my own. <laughs> Once I can prove this, maybe I can get a few people to come along. Which will be in the near future. Because I do intend to get things going. I'm picking up the pace on this. Because... I just want to do it. I want to prove that you don't have to spend millions of pounds just to reach space. Do you know what I mean? That might piss a few people off but it's saving them money do you know what I mean anyway that's all I've got time for today I do hope you enjoyed the content the view is mega this is a good view anyway please like comment subscribe if you share this I'd appreciate it I really would because the idea is a fortune saver to put words to uh, to put words to mind. Anyway, as usual, have a nice day. Wish me luck.